Hello chess friends and welcome to this exciting chess video. Today, we're going to take a close look at one of the most remarkable game between two of the greatest chess players in the world, Stockfish and Magnus Carlsen. In this game, I sacrificed my rook in the opening against the world champion Magnus Carlsen. So, sit back, relax, and get ready to witness a true masterpiece of chess analysis as we delve into the intricacies of this fascinating game, Magnus started with e4, I played h5, I want to bring my rook like this, Alpha Zero played this opening against Magnus Carlsen few days ago, do you know that? Okay, Magnus played d4, he said, haha, I will capture your rook first, okay do your best, bishop takes rook, I played knight takes h6, this pawn gets unguarded, so he takes the pawn with his queen, I need lot of developing moves to get active on my game, ok, I played g6, queen back to f3, bishop goes to g7, this targeting the d-pawn, Magnus makes a pawn chain by playing c3, here comes c5, pawn takes c5, I sacrificed my another pawn by playing b6, but you can't take it, because there is queen takes, queen will active on the b-file, if you push it, then the dark squares will be weak, you have to play knight here, then I will take the pawn, Magnus knows it, so he brings his knight, pawn takes, Magnus played g4, because he is a stockfish subscriber, and chess friends if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel then you can like and subscribe to my channel to get more episodes, he wants to play g5, bishop here, so, I played d5, sacrificing a another pawn, because I am stockfish, sacrifices is my passion. But if you creeds and accept my pawn sacrifice, then I will capture your pawn, queen here, then queen takes d5, getting active on the middle of the board, so, back to the position, Magnus saw it, he played g5 first to remove the knight position, knight here, pawn takes d5, knight backs, queen here, he puts his queen on this diagonal to protect this pawn, bishop b7, c4, knight here, Magnus throws f4, he moves all his pawn to occupy more squares and control more space, knight backs, and my position is too boring. Very passive position, how will I turn the game? a4, controlling the square for the knight, ok e6, you can't take it, because of this, knight on e4, queen goes to b6, targeting on this pawn, and also threatening to play pawn takes, takes, bishop takes, here Magnus Carlsen played long castle, which is bad, because queen, bishop diagonal, and rook file, all the material will target this pawn potentially, but Magnus can defend it personally, ok rook b8, threatening to play bishop takes check, takes, then queen takes, takes, then bishop takes pawn pawn which will be a discover attack to the king, king slides, bishop takes knight check, you will gonna lose this, oh my god, so here Carlsen played rook up to d2 to protect this, pawn takes, takes, c4, bishop takes, c4, knight on c5, Magnus pushed his b-pawn to b4, but best move was to take the knight, in this position, best is to play slide the king on f8, sacrificing a knight, knight takes, 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 queen takes, targeting this and this, so, rook here, queen check here and, queen f3, queen check on a1, queen up to a4 check, king here, here, bishop to f5, and that's it, the bishops are lasering on these squares and king position is terrible, which means it's 0-0, so in this position, I played knight takes knight, instead of playing this, and I immediately lose my advantage, queen takes check, king slides to f8, rook on e2, he wants to play knight here to activate the rook and a sweet queen kiss, rook c8, queen check, king slides, targeting this so he moved his rook on c7 to protect this, in this position, I want you guys to pause the video and try to find the brilliant move for me, go 1, 2, ok, if you find knight to e5, then you are correct, sacrificing a full knight, if you don't take the knight then I will take your bishop, queen check, if the queen arrive on there then it will be devastating for you, so, Magnus takes the knight, this blocks the queen's file, so I get a chance to enter my queen, king slides, queen check, if play any other move like king here or king e2, for example, if king c8 happen, then rook takes, rook takes rook or queen takes bishop would not help you, 
let me show you, if rook takes, queen check, here, check, bishop takes, and that's it, it is a strong bishop and queen's battery, even the knight can't protect it. The king is exposed and you will lose the game, bishop check is coming, so, back to the position, Magnus played king e1, because king c1 is not good, queen e4 check, knight on e2, queen is targeting the h1 rook, but it's not queen takes rook, let me show you why, if queen takes, then king d2, the queen become a little passive on there, bishop takes, queen on d7, targeting this and this, so rook takes c4, rook takes, takes, I get the two bishops against a knight but white can manage it if he play perfectly, so. In this position, I takes the c2 rook, now I am threatening rook takes bishop, and you should not take the bishop, for example, if you take the bishop, then rook takes c4, the king will face some terrible checks, so rook comes to umbrella the king, queen check, king ups, queen back to e4, threatening the pawn with bishop, queen b8 check, bishop blocks, and the game will continue like this, so, in this position Magnus played rook to f1, to target this pawn, queen b1 check, king ups, queen here check, king slides, check. Rook blocks, rook takes, queen takes, king h7, this targeting the bishop, but you still can't take it, if you do, then queen takes check, king here, here, backs, rook check, blocks, check, backs, check, slides rook check, and, mate, wow, it's geomagnetic checkmate, so, Magnus backs his king, queen check, king here, rook h4, targeting this pawn, h3, bishop here, targeting this knight, to expose the king in front of queen. So, Magnus played knight f4, I sacrificed, the rook, do you know my plan? Because after queen takes rook, I played queen f1 super check, king here, queen check, here, bishop takes e5, weakening the dark squares, so, queen f7 check, king can't go back, because it will be mate in two moves, queen and rook checkmate, so, bishop back to g7, rook here, bishop c8, b5, check, here, queen h5 to target this, h4, bishop to g4, blocking the rank, so rook can't protect it, rook back to f2, bishop f5, threatening to play bishop e4 check, there is checkmate in 14 moves, Magnus calculates this, so. He played queen e7, try to protect this, queen here, rook takes bishop, which is the best move, it's not queen takes rook, otherwise Magnus will promote this d pawn, of course, you can make repetitive checks to the king and make a draw, but can you sleep at the night where you was winning against world champion Magnus Carlsen, and you made a draw, so, queen takes check, king ups, check, here, takes, ok, d6. Wish you all the best, thanks for watching subscribe for more, bye bye take care see you soon.